Good morning and welcome to Daily Devo, the best way to start your day in the Word of God. My name is Whitney Mead and welcome to the show. You can find me right here every Monday through Friday morning where we are going to get encouraged, get filled up, and grow closer to the Lord. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button to get notified every time a new episode of Daily Devo goes live. Are you looking for your next women's retreat speaker? I'd love to help. If you're interested in booking me to speak at your next women's event, reach out to me on my website at WhitneyMead.com. Now, let's get down to business. There is not a more beautiful picture of Christ and his bride, the church, than what's echoed between a husband and wife in a healthy marriage with God at the center of it all. This is the original, the original design for marriage. And we are honoring God in his lordship when we and our spouses submit ourselves to his plans and purposes as one, one in body, one in soul, and one in spirit. When we marry our spouse, we do become one flesh with them. Genesis 2.24 says, This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. Side note here, moms. Remember that this verse not only applies to you and your marriage, but to your children's marriages as well. Let me encourage you to honor this communion for your kids. Model for them what it looks like to be a healthy, supportive in-law. Let's carry on. How often do you pray for yourself? A lot, right? We pray prayers like, Lord, help me find direction in this area. God, heal my body. God, give me your wisdom. God, let me see this situation clearly. If we are one with our spouse, that means that his or her actions affect us just as equally as they affect themselves. So shouldn't we be praying for our spouses just as much as we are praying for our own needs? There is power that occurs in a marriage when you have two spouses praying for one another. They are being built up in the Lord. They are actually living out Ecclesiastes 4.12, which says, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. When we place God in the center, in the very center, in the center of our marriages and stand back to back, covering each other in prayer, we become that triple braided cord which cannot be broken. Let's get real for a minute. Satan hates your marriage. He hates you. He hates God's original design for marriage. And he wants marriages and people to be destroyed. As a husband or as a wife, today I charge you to commit to praying for your spouse. If there is bitterness in your marriage and you find it hard to even think about praying for your spouse, remember this. The two of you are one flesh. And whether you like it or want to admit it or not, it is a supernatural law that is beyond your control. You can stick your head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend that you are a solo individual But if you stood before God and made those covenant vows, you are one with your spouse. So if it's hard to pray for your spouse, in your heart, I want you to imagine your face on his or hers. That may make it palatable enough for you to begin the process of prayer. And let me tell you what's gonna happen. Once you start to pray, As hard as it might be, the power that's released will begin to build and build and build. And those prayers will begin to come more easily and more easily and more easily. And then one day you will wake up and healing will have happened. Restoration will have happened. 
love will begin to blossom again and you, my friend, will have become a triple braided cord with your spouse and your God at the center. You will crush Satan's head with your heel by the power of the risen Lord Jesus Christ and you will say, not today, Satan. I bless every marriage, your marriage, every marriage represented here today in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow.